course, our temperatures have been warming up and the ice is beginning to thaw. That can make things very dicey and dangerous. Also, though, on the other side, it makes it a perfect time for our emergency response teams to get a refresher course on how to operate in an ice rescue situation. So with that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW reporter David Warrington. As you can see, David's outside in Cedar Rapids right now. David, earlier today, you had a chance to go with the Cedar Rapids Fire Department through some of that training. So these conditions really are ideal for that. Tell us more. Well, Ron, that's right. Earlier today, the Cedar Rapids Fire Department went out here on the ice behind me and went through some of that ice rescue training, of course, to make sure they stay prepared in the event of an emergency situation. Now, the team goes through this training every single year to make sure they stay ready to respond in a real ice rescue situation. Members of the fire department say ice rescues don't happen very often, but they are high risk, making it extra important that they stay up to date on the protocols. They say as the weather warms up, being on the ice can become more dangerous. Glenn Himes with the Cedar Rapids Fire Department said that people need to be mindful whenever they're on the ice. Always go with other people. So if something happens to you, you've got a buddy there to try and help get you out. Have some of the equipment. Have either an ice awl or even a screwdriver with you if you're out ice fishing. So if you would happen to fall in, you can use a screwdriver and kind of do the same thing to try and help pull, grab onto the ice and help pull yourself out. The team said the training is a fun exercise for the fire department, but it's also a critically important one, saying that in their industry, preparation is everything. And coming up tonight at SEC, we'll have much more on what goes into this training to make sure the team stays prepared. Live in Cedar Rapids, David Warrington, News 7, KWWL. Yeah, David, thanks for the update. Look forward to that at 6 o'clock. Yeah, great advice there from Captain Himes on the use of a, a screwdriver. I hadn't thought about that. The department also noting, as he mentioned, if you do go out, make sure you're with somebody if you can. If you're not, though, let people know exactly where you're going to be and what time they should expect you to.